This week is Expert Week for Local Girl Goes Local, and I've started reading Megan Kimball's Unprocessed. Only a quarter of the way into the book, but I'm already finding things that I really identify with. For example, Megan's story about eating an entire loaf of bread that she baked within one day. I have absolutely done that, and I hadn't even baked the bread. This was just bread that I bought, and yes, I ate the entire loaf of bread within one day, and actually, probably within the space of about one meal and one snack. Yeah. Another thing that I could really identify with was when Megan started talking about what she learned about wheat, and specifically wheat milled into flour and then flour sitting on shelves and going rancid. And reading about that and reading about some of the concerns about what wheat going rancid can do inside your body because of the chemicals that are released, that tapped into my crunchy side. Uh, specifically the side that says, oh no, I don't want to put weird stuff in my body. Is this weird stuff? Is it harmful? Is it working against how my body should work? And of course, that's something we're all obsessed about right now, right? You have the paleo diet, you have people going gluten-free, you have people talking about the microbiome and how we need to nourish our microbiome specifically so that we are mirroring the ingredients that would have been there when we evolved this relationship with our microbiome as opposed to what we throw in there now reading this and I start to get really concerned. Then I start to feel really hopeless. Then I start to feel angry because whether we're talking about food or we're talking about harmful chemicals and products or we're talking about harmful practices out in the world that put chemicals in weird spots that they wouldn't normally appear, it seems like oftentimes we end up kind of being the ignorant person who's left in the dark to hopefully be okay as opposed to someone who's well informed about what's going on in their world and how that might affect them. More importantly, it kind of feels like wouldn't these other people who are making these decisions that would lead to these different chemicals, processes, products being put out there in the world, wouldn't they care enough about us as individuals, or at least us as a species, to not put harmful crap out there? The frustrating part is Either it seems like sometimes we don't bother to do enough research to find out whether or not we're putting something harmful out there, or we decide we don't care, or we just didn't know. And then we cite that we just didn't know as the excuse behind why we did something that was really foolhardy and even more unfortunate. We cite that as the reason that we continue doing it because we made this decision and now it's too expensive to change it. I could go on this rant for a long time. But what I wanted you to take away tonight is that the process of me becoming what people would call crunchy hasn't really been me trying to seek out a fringe alternative viewpoint, but rather it's been as I've found out more and more about what kind of contortions we've been twisting ourselves through in the world, I've become more and more intent on trying to avoid those contortions. What I'm really hoping is that people can look at my experience see that it can be done, that we can eat significantly more locally without it being a huge hassle, or at least with it being a conquerable hassle, and then be able to see how they can apply those lessons within their own life. Because in the grand scheme of things, it's not just me being responsible for what shows up in my body and what shows up in my daughter's body, or even which businesses I'm helping support by spending my dollars on a local level instead of spending my dollars in a way that gets shipped off to a faceless corporation on the other side of the country. It's the idea that we can vote with our feet, and more specifically, our dollars, and the idea that we can take back our world and make our palms into something a little bit more manageable and a little bit more fixable. I know this has been quite a ramble. I hope you followed me. I'm really feeling like what I'm doing is more than just me goofing around with eating local foods for the general amusement of everyone watching, but also that it's something I can do that's going to make my own household a better household for taking care of our community and our earth and of ourselves. Until next time, happy learning, happy eating, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.